the song is right. Wow. So that means I can slip out during the song to go get her. But if I don't, if I don't win, I'll go to Washington with you. I'll be your wingman. I'm about to be bodyguard. I thought I'd be sorry, folks. We'll have uh, Mr. Gaddis is going to do a, a special song he just created. And then Jasmine's going to come in. We're going to give her her birthday gift. So everyone sign the card. Make sure no one on it. Push the card. I mean, you know, I'm good at math. Well, that's what All right, let's get started, folks. Good morning. 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 as usual and we'll have a little fun with this thing and then we'll rip it. It kind of goes like this. Obama's gotta go. Obama's gotta go. Shout it to the nation. Obama's gotta go. He's our president and our bro. And although we thank him so, I'm sorry. Obama's gotta go. That's the chorus. Now y'all can chime in with that if we want. Look at the mess our country's in. It seems there's no way to win. Folks, I'm sorry, but Obama's gotta go. Obama's gotta go. Obama's gotta go. Shout it to the nation. Obama's gotta go. He's our president and our bro. And all over thank him so. I'm sorry, but Obama's gotta go. <laughs> There's different versions of these versions. <laughs> <laughs> I can't afford to live or die. The price is all way too high. And I'm telling you, Obama's gotta go. Obama's gotta go. Obama's gotta go. Shout it to the nation. Obama's gotta go. He's our president and our bro. And although we thank him so, Come November 2012, Obama's gotta go. Obamacare has gotta go, and the only way that I know, you guessed it, Obama's gotta go. Obama's gotta go. Obama's gotta go. Shout it to the nation. Obama's gotta go. He's our president and our bro, and although we thank him so. I'm you can add whatever you want. I hope Obama's got to go. That's the main thing. But America can give a shout. We can straighten it all out. But to do it, Obama's got to go. Obama's got to go. Obama's got to go. Shout it to the nation. Obama's got to go. He's our president and our bro. And although we thank him so. Come November 2012, Obama's got to go. Thank you, Mr. Gaddis. 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 Thank you
in an area where temptation is readily available. That temptation to engage in good old boy backroom politics for one's own personal gain is above reproach. If that could be said of me, I've kept my faith with the taxpayers and kept my integrity. I, I humbly ask for your vote and support and pledge to you four more years of savings, efficiency, and putting the taxpayer first. Thank you. Thank you. Any, any questions? Any questions? No questions, Dash. Are you running on the post? No. No, I, I have I have a job. I have a job. But I'm running on my record. Any more questions? I, that's the shortest campaign speech I've ever heard. You got my vote. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Thank you. I will, I will tell you this. That about two weeks ago, Steve called me on a Saturday afternoon. And I was just sitting there thinking about this. And I said, do you have a couple minutes? And I just ran through. And so he was my sounding board. And I, 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 I worked... <clears throat> I worked to to keep it concise and keep your attention, okay? Well, I appreciate the things you said, especially about protecting the taxpayer and uh, ruling in favor of the taxpayer. That that's huge. That is huge. And that that is the culture. That that is now the culture in the treasurer's office. Thank you. I, yeah, I spent about an hour this week with uh, Chris Harmon, okay. the auditor. And Chris Harmon told me that he could not imagine any better, better, better work with Jim than with Jim Extra. Right. He said, you know, the treasurer and the auditor have to work really close together. Yeah. He said, we we really do it well. Jim is super good, and, and I've never had a problem with anything I've ever gone to him with. It's just been, you know, just a pleasure to work with him. So. Thank you. Hey, let me just tell you, when I came in office, there was the treasurer, the auditor, and the assessor in their world. There were walls between them. They just didn't get along. And I had been in office one day, and I told Chris Harmon, I said, these walls have to come down because they are keeping us from serving the taxpayer. That's, that's, it just, there's no better way to serve the taxpayer than we all get along. And then we can be a united front. So I, I thank you very much for those remarks. Will you pay my tax bill? I'll, I'll, if, you pay, if, if you pay my car, the you're, property tax bill, you're in the wrong county. You're in Bristol, aren't you? No, I'm in Lefty. You're in Lefty. <coughs> no, but I will say, if on you the, pay property, car, the property tax on my car, if you pay that, I'll vote for you. <laughs> on the property tax receipts, I have a note that if you have any if you have any ideas how to save taxpayer dollars, I'd like to personally hear from you. I get very, very many cards with ideas, and we're implementing those ideas. Let me just very quickly tell you one. We have state organizations. I've got to go to training. I've got to go to training as mandated by the state. And I find that they've been talking for 10 plus years on, on efficiencies. And one of them was when, when we take a car payment when we pay, take a, 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 an auto tax payment, we send, we send the data to the DMV to send you the registration. This is through the mail. And then we mail out a separate receipt. Yeah, why? That doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. They've been talking about it in committees. I said, this doesn't make sense. There is enough space on that DMV form to put the property tax receipt. And, and the, the talk was, well, every individual treasurer wants to customize their own receipt. I said, we aren't working for ourselves. We're working for the taxpayers. I, with the help of Chip Huggins, went to Colonel Schwedo, the new uh, director of uh, DMV, executive director of DMV. And we are coming out with, we, we've lined up the treasurers in the state we're going to come out with the tax bill with the registration, and it will save Lexington County alone fifty thousand dollars a year. Very good. So I'm very very pleased with that. Uh, 
that was that was a personal <coughs> initiative. Yeah, I'm, I'm worried about that. Last year, um, when I bought a new car, I I paid for the the tax when I bought it, and um, title, and then when I came back up to pay it again, you know, uh, I went through a couple of cars. Okay, <laughs> uh, but when I when I paid for it. They sent me a different, I said, well, I've already paid for this. They said, oh, but you're paying for the tag separately. Why <laughs> am I paying for the tag separately? <clears throat> when you, then, then the one, when you sent me out the tax bill. The first year you would have been taxed. Yeah, that's, that's, that's. I mean, I, I'm saying, I'm just saying, my thing is, you could probably save a lot in postage. Um, if you just set them out together, if you did them at the same time, you, you know. Yeah, and that's what we're doing. We also, we also sent out our, uh, our receipts in a postcard form. That saved us $22,000 a year in forms and postage, okay? Even it was always a letter prior to that, and that was, that was an initiative. Even better than that, you could, I mean, most people, I mean, a lot of elder, older people, they don't. They don't like to deal with email. But most people have email. And I know when I get my bill to renew my insurance every six months, Progressive sends me an email. Okay. Uh, and actually, I get discount because. That's now, a, why don't why don't you? That's so, a legislative issue. That's a legislative issue. The statute has to change for that. Okay, but. <laughs> no, I was just going to draw a contrast. You've been very, uh, very generous in not mentioning your opponent and some of his failings, but um, I won't be so generous. You've, uh, you've talked about how you've saved taxpayer money. You've reduced office staff. Uh, you've reduced uh, your your budget by, I think you said three and a half percent over the last four years. At the same while, time, while <clears throat> while uh, inflation in county growth has risen seventy right, percent. Exactly. So. While you've been doing this, your opponent, while sitting on county council, Mr. Banning has voted to raise our taxes in this down economy when people are struggling and trying to meet their own bills. When county council wants to spend money, they just raise our taxes. So there's a big contrast between yourself and your opponent, and I just wanted to make sure that. Well, uh, I think it's out. also worth noting that, that um, since you're being very gracious, I won't, um, that uh, your opponent is running for uh, uh, your office, but Somehow uh, has not seen fit to step down from the office yeah, he occupies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he's well, trying to keep his foot in, in two camps just to see which pans out yeah, better. Really, well, well, thank you, down. thank you very much. I will say that um, I alluded to my my initial term of public service over 40 years ago in Vietnam, and now I'm your county treasurer. The way I came to this job, I was reaching the end of my career in public business. Uh, Bill Rowell, the then then sitting county treasurer, was uh, gravely ill, and Mr. Rowell recommended to the governor that I finish his term. The governor appointed me. That's how I got here. This is not a stepping stone. Okay, I am committed to serving the citizens, taxpayers of Lexington County as their treasurer. In this, I want to stress, this is not a stepping stone for me at all. How long have you been serving as treasurer? Four and a half years. Okay. Four and a half years. <laughs> and, and I will say I'll continue to serve as long as you put me in this office, as long as I'm making a difference for you. That's the key. The message, you brought that up. <clears throat> Why are you doing it? Because I believe I'm making a difference. I will. Thank you. Yes, sir. Treasure. Uh, I have a, I'm going to ask you a, a question. I have a boat, I have a lake house up in the mountains, and I have a boat that's up there, and it's been registered in Lexington County, and I went over to the treasurer's office. The boat was bought in Richland County, taken to Oconee County, um, I, but my, I reside here, but that boat's never been in, in Lexington County. Where is that boat supposed to be taxed? <laughs> that's a good question. I work very closely with Chris Harmon, it's not who puts out the tax bills, okay? <laughs> who puts out the tax bills. Now, that is, 
this is another area where I stand for the taxpayers, where Chris Harmon and I stand for the taxpayers. Because the, the DNR, way over the edge with this boat issue, okay? You tax every year, you register it every three years. You can have an unsuspecting buyer purchase the boat from an unsuspecting seller. And uh, it's, the, the tax issue, is, it, it's really mixed up. I stand for the taxpayer in resolving those kind of issues. So okay? you're saying that I should actually be paying taxes in Oconee County since the boat's never been in Lexington County? It would be in Oconee County. Right. Do, do you have an Oconee address? Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, you, you should be paying taxes in Oconee. I think you'd have to address it. At least a line. He just left up there. So. Ooh, that's where it looks. Call, call the auditor's office. You're not getting taxed. Like, I'm not getting it. Any more questions? The point out, I think, is fact that the treasurer and the auditor don't make the laws. Y'all not just the We We administer the laws, but like I say, I rule for the interests and concerns of the taxpayer over the interests and concerns of the governing body. Yes. I have a question. Um, when a person buys a vehicle, and they're making payments on it. And then they finally pay that vehicle off. Who, who keeps the, the title of that vehicle? Is it, is it your office? It's not your office, is it? No, no, no you're talking, I'm, I'm sure you're talking about DMA in this one. Mm -hmm. But they, they hold the title to all vehicles? Uh, no, you should. Excuse me? I would think, I, I check. I'm just, I'm just wondering. How that works. You, you, you said you paid it off. If you can get, yeah, you can get a copy of the title. No, no, no. You don't have the you don't have your title while you're paying them. You don't get the title for you pay for it. Oh, that would be that probably the uh, the lien holder. The lien holder. The, the, the person you borrow the money that shows the lien holder. The, per the person Eddie. you borrow the money from, I'm not quite Eddie, sure. That's, that's you, know, uh, you can you can actually um, you never can ever get a title to your show. vehicle. You know, that's what I, that's what I was getting that point. You, you never get, get the title. You get a certificate of title. But the title itself, you can never have. The state maintains it. What they do is they take the manufacturer's certificate of origin and they uh, put it up. They used to. I don't know if they still put it on micro microfilm. And then they destroy it. Um, and which it, they give you a certificate of title, which is a representation of manu I, yeah. manufacturer's statement of origin. Yeah. So you can never ever have a title to your vehicle because the system is rigged against right. you. Right. So that, that was, that was going to be my right. follow-up question. How do you get the actual title? You, you don't. Can't. We're outside of my swim lane here. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I got a question. Yes, sir. I bought a car. <laughs> my payment was two thirty-three a month. <laughs> But I send them to 60, to, thinking that they would put the extra money on the principal of the loan. But what Chrysler does is they put it in an account and just let it build up. Okay, is that like call Chrysler? I don't know. I mean, that's a, I, again, that's that's how it's going to work. Okay. Any more questions? Yeah. Dave, um, have you had some issues with County Council? Somebody had mentioned that, that, uh, that you and Bill had been at it for quite some time prior to him filing. I think, I think public officials have to work together for the best interest of the taxpayer. But there comes a time when you've got to fight for the taxpayer also, okay? And, uh, I believe the taxpayer would expect me to stand up and fight for them, and uh, that's that's precisely that's precisely what I will unapologetically do. Anytime I believe I have to represent the taxpayer. Okay. So, was there an issue where the council was going against the issue, the interest of the taxpayer? We have some ongoing things. We have some ongoing things right now, and I just I'd like to I'd like to say I was going to uh, I'm just keeping. I'm going to run on my record. Purely on my right. But thank you. Okay, let's, let's give him a round of applause. Thank you. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Okay, we have, uh, we don't have anybody else scheduled, but like always, uh, we have open uh, invitation to anyone to come up and, and speak. I'd like to give the, the uh, well,
before Talbert has to leave, I better do that. Uh, I know there are several issues um, that the most influential patriot leader in the state of South Carolina, Talbert Black, has, has uh, been sitting out the last few days. Talbert, would you like to come up and say a few things? All right, real quickly. I'd much rather just sit and chat, but I guess. <laughs> well, I know, I'll be, yeah, yeah, they don't know All right, H3235 is a bill that's in the State House right now that would remove the legislature's exemption from FOIA, Freedom of Information Act. In case you don't know, in South Carolina, the legislature wrote the South Carolina FOIA law to exempt themselves from it. They don't have to comply. They have it since it was written. There's a bill in the House right now that would remove that exemption. There's been a lot of games going on with the bill. The key thing right now is what they call the crossover date. That's May 1st, and the rule is if a bill doesn't make it from one chamber to the other, either from the House to the Senate or from the Senate to the House, by May 1st, it's much harder to get passed. It requires a two-thirds vote in order to get passed. And basically, if it doesn't make crossover date, they never even consider it. It's just a killer. So the crossover date, May 1st, is Tuesday. So anyway, the bill, they brought it up yesterday, considered it, talked about it, passed it 101 to 1 in the House. And then Mr. Gene Pinson, what they normally do when a bill gets passed on Thursday, they have unanimous consent to have third reading on Friday. They have to have one, two, and three readings. That's generally what they do. Mr. Pinson objected to that. All it takes is one objection because they do it by unanimous consent. It's a lot of parliamentary stuff. I don't want to bore you with that. But he objected to it, which means it's not going to get third reading until Tuesday, which it has to also get over to the House Senate and be received by the Senate on Tuesday. So. I think everything's going to work out. I don't know. It just depends on whether or not the Senate adjourns and if the House gets to it. And it's just, they wait to the last minute on these things. You just don't know what's going to happen. So what I've asked folks to do is, starting out was to call Mr. Pinson and tell him to withdraw his objection. I learned very quickly Mr. Pinson is retiring. He's not running for office again. His secretary was laughing at people, saying, ah, he's retiring. You can't hold anything over him. <laughs> but he does have a hand-picked protege, Mr. John McCravey, for his seat, who also is in a contested contest, or in a contested uh, um, race. Thank you. <laughs> so what I've asked people to do then is call Mr. McCravey, tell him to con convince his mentor to withdraw his objection so the bill can get passed and uh, make it over to the Senate. And then just go ahead and make a donation to his opponent, um, Shannon, Shannon, uh, get the last name. Anyway, it's on my website on an email. Check it out. This is the games that they play over there at the State House, and they do it all the time. And they, they do it so that, you know, they pick somebody who's retiring, going out, or in a very safe district to stop the bill while everybody else can vote for it. Say, hey, I voted for it. There's nothing I can do about this crazy guy over here. But they know it's happening all along, and they do it to protect themselves and be able to say, hey, I'm voting for it. And, Sorry, there's nothing I can do about it. Anyway, that's all. Just want to let you know about what's happening, and uh, let's have some good conversation. All right, thanks, Dal. Let's give a round of applause. Right. So just because Mr. Pinson is retiring, he doesn't believe that he could be labeled as a traitor to the people. Well, we can label him that way, but hey, it's an I just did. anyway, so. <laughs> <laughs> and we're going to continue paying for the video. That's all I'm saying about that. Uh, okay, opportunity for politicians. We've got a number of politicians. Do you want to say anything, Phil? David, I know you don't want to Eddie? say anything. Eddie, you want to say anything? I'm good. good. All right. Now, uh, let's see. Corey, you want to say anything? Kevin. Kevin. No. All right. All right, that's it. Okay, that's it for today, folks. Until next Friday, Steve Lyson signing off. Thanks. We are uh, getting an email about five years ago. You got my vote. I got it. You got my vote. Yeah, yeah. Just yeah. take it. Yeah. 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 Well, I got it. I have to disagree with you. I think it's great. You're at the power. You need 20 hours. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I think the key to all this money is yeah. that you are offended anybody from running for Jim Landers. Oh, see, thank you. You just have to keep the phone on your hand on your phone. You have to be able to do it. 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 You have to